Welcome back, everybody, to Silver Run Forest. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to put up uh, a new shed and uh, then see where we go from there. Uh, so let's see here. We're going to, uh, you guys uh, gave me some good feedback in the comments about uh, placement of the shed and, <clears throat> excuse me, in the garage and all of that. Um, more than one of you mentioned you know, placing the, the, the garage back away from the house and more along the road. So we're not going to do that exactly, but but we are, I, I have decided not to put the garage really close to the house like I was originally doing. Those of you um, who did respond to that specific question, everybody said to make it square with the house and not at the angle. But I think uh, we're going to do something a little bit different regardless. So... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get over here. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to borrow some money, which will be very temporary because we can make a ton of money very quickly in this game. Um, but I want to get the shed uh, up and running first uh, or, or in, in place, I guess I should say. The other problem that I've run into uh, as I've done a little bit of off camera testing is that the high lift there there are very few sheds <laughs> available at least with what i currently have installed in the game in the you know in the way of mods and what's already there that the high lift will even fit into um it's too high you can't get it through the doggone door you know kind of thing so um we're going to we're probably gonna we're, we're gonna use the enormous absolutely gargantuan shed with the solar panels that came with the expansion uh, that's one I've decided to go on. Um, and it, you know, it's basically one shed to rule them all. <laughs> the thing is so big, we won't ever need another shed again for the rest of this playthrough. Um, and the fact that it'll actually generate us a little bit of money each month because of the solar power. So I'm talking about this 395,000 behemoth here. Look how big this thing is. It's just enormous. Uh, I wasn't originally planning on going with this, but here again... I can't, you know, there, there's hardly anything else I can fit the high lift under. I, 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 well, I could fit the high lift under these, but I don't like the way these look. I don't know. They just don't do anything for me, you know? Um, so we're not going to go with those. And this was the other one that I was thinking about. I have this on my normal farming simulator series. It's a wonderful shed, but it's, it's almost as much money as the other one, first of all. And it, it's enclosed in the back, which normally I would prefer, but... We got this gorgeous little, you know, lake or pond over here. And if we put this shed in, we're basically completely blocking that view. So that's why, you know, for those reasons, that's why I've decided to go with this shed. Now, um, I also have, well, no, I guess I already knew this, but we can very easily just replace the redwood trees without have, having to actually plant them away for them to grow kind of thing. I think I'm just going to do that, do it that way just because it's going to be faster and easier. Um, so we are going to have to remove some of these redwoods, obviously, to get this thing to, to fit up here. And we're going to have to do a little bit of land, uh, you know, leveling and stuff like that, too. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is, um, oh, and, and by the way, off camera, I got, the, you know, this, this area completely cleared. I don't think I had completely cleared that the last time I, uh, in the last video. It's been actually several days since I've recorded um, an episode here on Silver Run just because it's the holidays. Uh, my dad's visiting from Washington State. We're having a good time. Um, we went last night, just FYI, uh, last night we, the family and I went to uh, the Flying W Ranch in Colorado Springs. And they had like a Christmas celebration thing. And uh, they have the Flying W Wranglers, which are the second oldest, um, uh, what's it called, Western band? Yeah, Western band in, in the world. Um second only to the Sons of the Pioneers. So if the, any of you are into Western music, you, I'm sure you know who th those guys are. And we just had a great time. So all that to say, um, just a lot going on for the holidays. This will probably be the last Silver Run Force video I'll get out before Christmas. Um, and then after Christmas, you know, we'll kind of get back to the normal schedule. Well, I should say actually after uh, New Year's. Okay, enough said about that. So here's, here's the plan. We are going to... Uh, first of all, we're going to need to borrow some money. So this this thing is three hundred ninety five thousand dollars. We're going to have to borrow. Um, well, I don't know. Let's just borrow as much as we need to get it. 
Uh, so what we're going to do is start borrowing money until we get to 395. And we're going to need a little extra operating cash too. So let's bump that up. Well, I might, we might need to do the garage too. So let's just start with, here, let's just borrow 200,000 for the moment. All right, so that gets us up to 200,000, and then we'll see where we are from there. And I can make that back in, with, with two 12-meter uh, containers of logs. <laughs> so it's not going to be a big deal at all to pay that off, uh, which is nice. Okay, so let's get back into here. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to place the shed in free mode just so we can uh, see what its position is going to be and what trees we need to relocate. So let's grab the shed here. I think I want the solar panels facing towards the lake. Uh, I don't think it matters in this game, you know, wh wh which way the solar panels are actually facing in terms of, you know, where the sun is and all that. Uh, at least I don't think it is. And then we just have to fit this in here properly so it's not covering the creek and it's not overlapping the, the lake and, and all that sort of thing. So I think I want to, and it's so big that it's it's difficult too for me to get a really good camera <laughs> camera angle and see every you know all sides of this thing too. It's just so big. So why don't we turn it? Uh, let's turn it more like this. We kind of got that rock outcropping there, which is going to potentially cause us a little bit of grief. We could bring it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if we place it right here, that could potentially work. My, my plan for the garage is to put it kind of over in this area, by the way. So it's still going to be fairly close to the house, but it's not going to be like right next to the house. And this is going to require a f some fairly substantial landscape work too, which is also going to cost us money. But I don't know. I'm, I'm I, I guess I kind of like that setup. That'll probably work okay. All right, let's do this. We're going to relocate all of the trees that the shed is currently touching. All right, so let's, and, and maybe these two here also, just in case we decide to come this way a little bit more, though I pro we probably won't, though, just because... It's getting really close to the creek. So yeah, let's leave those two redwoods in place. So we're going to start with this enormous redwood here. So let's go to landscaping. We'll go to trees. Uh, we'll go all the way over here. So this is probably the big $1,800 tree, I think. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's just pop that right over here. Um, actually here, we'll put it over there. Okay, we have, a, looks like we have two, yeah, two more of these really big trees. So we can put one there. I'm just kind of putting them randomly wherever. We can put one there. Okay, so that covers this tree, this tree, and this tree. Now we've got one, two, three smaller trees that we can put somewhere. Um, we'll put one there and maybe how about right there. Okay, so we've replanted all of the redwood trees that we're going to take out. Okay, now let's come along here. <laughs> And we're going to, um, 
I mean, I, I, we have this conversation again. If, if these were actually worth what they should be worth, I would definitely cut them down and harvest them, but they're not. They're just not going to be worth the effort. So I think we're just going to use a little bit of uh, admin magic here and <laughs> we're just going to delete them. It's going to be the easiest thing to do. It's a shame, really, because, you know, it'd be awesome if you could do that. Harvest them, you know, get the money for it, that sort of thing, but it's just not going to let us do it, so... I mean, it'll let us do it, but it's not going to give us diddly squat for them, is what I mean. So, we'll just get rid of them this way. Okay, so that gets rid of those trees. We got a couple down on this end we got to do. This shed, you guys, is it's just... <laughs> I can't believe how big it is. We'll never, ever need another shed again as long as we... Well, I, you know, for the rest of this playthrough. Okay, so we decided to leave those two redwoods there. I think that will clear the land good enough then for us to replace this. That must have been some s stuff left over from when I cleared the land there. There we go. Okay. Now let's get back over here again. You know, I think I think I want to get rid of this redwood too cuz it's just right smack dab in the middle of everything here. So, yeah, let's do that. That's um it's the same size, I th think, as this one over here. So let's get that out of the way. I'm going to try and leave these here for now. But, you know, if any we end up needing to take those out of the way, too, then we will. Okay, let's go back to landscaping to trees. Scroll over to the redwoods, and I, yeah, I think it was this type of tree we took out um, earlier. So, let's see. Where do we want to put this one? Uh, right there so, sounds good Good to me. I'm not planning on really doing anything with that land up there. It's too, too much of an angle. In fact, we're not really going to do a whole lot of anything with this property. This is where we live, so we're not going to really farm it. I, I'm debating whether or not... To, you know, clean out the smaller trees. That was, was my original plan. And we still might. I don't know. But I'm kind of thinking, let's just leave it the way it is, you know, other than what we have to modify to, to put the house and the shed and all that in. Because there's plenty of other property we can buy to log. I think we're good to, to go. So what we're going to do now is... We're going to add $197,500 back to our bank account after we sell this because that's half the price. Okay, and then let's just go one ninety-seven five. That gets us back on track there with our money. Okay, next we're going to set the shed down and then pick it right back up. We're, we're, we're setting it down so we can get the footprint of it. And know, you know, where to, to level the ground and whatnot. Oh, it's still going to do the overlap with another object business. Really? Um, if I turn it... Hmm. What's it overlapping with? Is there any way... Not enough money. Oh, because of land. Oh, right. It's 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 t it's factoring how much land modification it's going to cost me to set it there. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just do this then. Let's just borrow another hundred grand. I mean, I know we don't need that much, but. That'll just be, you know, operating cash afterwards. Let's try this again. 
Okay, now it's doing them back to the overlaps with another object. There was one point in here where it was actually going to let me put it down. Uh, oop, right there. That's not really the position we want, though. Okay, we're going to have to do this a little bit differently. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to put it back where I had it originally, which I think was, it wasn't quite up against those trees, but it was close. All right, now what we're going to have to do is go into landscaping and bring this up quite a bit. And we're going to need to level the land to about you know, where it's going to need to be. So yeah, right about here. That's going to kind of screw up the crick though, isn't it? Hmm. All right, well, let's go this way then. See, that's just about exactly where we want it in terms of the level. Yeah, we might and we might have to come this way more with it and figure out a maybe a different plan for the garage. Cuz I I don't want to mess up the creek and I don't want to make it look weird either. Okay. Then, yeah, we're going to just keep going this way then to probably about there. And then we'll level over here. Okay, that's looking pretty good so far. We might have some issues with this stone here. If I can, I don't know if I can remove that or not. I guess we'll, we'll find out. We'll just raise this up a little bit here and go all the way out to that point. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and, oh, it's going to give us the full value back. Okay. Raise that back up, and then we'll finish the leveling here. All right, what I might do here, too, is just go this way a little more. I don't want the redwoods floating is the thing, though. If I go too far, you know, underground... <laughs> We can probably make this work, but we've got this one stone in the way. I don't know if this is a harvestable stone or not. Can I just simply delete it? I can't. That's probably going to be an issue. Oh, good. That solves that problem. Fantastic. All right. Okay, so um, is there, it looks like everything is in pretty good shape as far as leveling goes. Let's just give it a little bit more of a sweep here. But yeah, it looks like it's all 
the right level. Go to buildings. Go to Behemoth Shed. Wait, where is Behemoth Shed? Right here. And I think we want to place it kind of from this angle. It's going to let us put it right there. Um, we're not really going to be... Well, it might not be a bad idea, I guess, to be able to come out this side if we needed to for some reason. So we could put it right there. <laughs> that messed up the crick. Oh, for goodness sakes. Um... I mean, if I play if I place it in free mode, then that won't happen. The, the nice thing about placing it in actual mode, though, is it puts it perfectly level with the ground there. Um, can I manipulate this back down here? That works okay. All right. It's good. Now, we're obviously not going to be able to drive out this end. I wonder, though, if we could um, work with this a little more. I'm going to actually save before I do anything else, just in case I royally screw it up. <laughs> we're going to have to do a little more landscaping around here anyways. Before I completely get going on that, though, let's just look around a little more. To make sure that this is where we're actually going to keep it. Wish we could do something about that stone, but we really can't. It's looking pretty good on this side, I think. Yeah, I like this. I, I think this will work. Okay. So, let's see if we can do a little more work here. Uh, with the leveling tool. There's just going to be a steep bank there by the creek. That's all there is to it. I'll have to make sure we don't drive, drive that direction. Okay, now we're going to get the softening tool and smooth this all out here. Okay, next thing we're going to do is go to Decorations, Others, and we're going to get another one of these Alien Gym Bridges. And we're going to turn it that way. And probably... We want it to be square with the building, which it currently is. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but... Might look nice if we do it that way. But what we're going to need to do is get rid of those weeds. Okay, now let's go to gravel and tone that down a little bit. Uh, no, we don't want that. We want mud for this one. That's good there. Now, now we're going to do a little bit of a gravel yard thingy here. Hmm. I'm just, I don't know if I want to do this. So, so let's do another save. And then if I decide I don't like it after all, we can fix it. Let's just try it and see, see how, how it looks. So we're going to go to, to gravel here. And let's increase the size of this.
Okay, I, I really feel like we need to have something in here. Even if it's just a visual, like, don't drive over here kind of thing, right? So, what if we did this kind of fencing? There, that'll work. Okay. So, we'll bring it to about here. And then we'll bring it, you know, kind of wrap it around this way. We could even just do it like that, I suppose. All right. How's that look? That looks a little better. And it's not, again, it's not going to stop anything from going over the hill. It's just going to be a visible, like, hey, don't don't go over the edge of the hill <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, let's go with that. I can always change my mind later. Well, actually, I probably can't without reloading because apparently you can't delete these. But that works. Okay, that's what we're going to run with. All right, fantastic. Fantastic. Look at this shed, you guys. It's just amazing. It's got the lights. It's going to earn us a little bit of extra money each month because it's, you know, uh, solar powered. I think we did a pretty good job of not royally screwing up our, our shoreline here. In fact, that should be smoothed down a little bit, I think. Just because it does look a little bit unrealistic. I'm liking it, man. So what I'm going to do now is, well, here, let, let's, um, let me actually look at this from the ground point of view. There's a bit of a ridge here we could smooth. And I think what we want to do here is just have, um, just kind of maybe drive down through here to get to the shop. Make a little intentional path that way. You know, this this redwood's smack dab in our way, isn't it? Let's 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 deal with this. It's the same size as that. All right. Here. We'll put it um put it up there. Goodbye. All right, now let's do a a gravel path. Then we'll go to sculpting and softening. Kind of soften that little ridge down there. I'm thinking this redwood might be a problem too. That's a that's the largest one. So let's go to trees. Get the largest redwood. And put it right there. And then we're gonna delete this one. All right, you guys, I think that's uh, going to do it for our big shed. So let's uh, let's just consider where we might be able to put the garage. We're not going to probably do that right now. Um, I, you know, I was going to put it over here, but I don't know how feasible that's going to be now. I would like to have a garage. And I would like it to be somewhat close to the house. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to buildings. We're going to go to sheds. 
There is this... Actually, you know what? There is this shed. It's not really a garage, but it could work. This wasn't what I was actually going to do, but it just kind of occurred to me. It would be, uh, you know, good enough for the pickup truck. Well, I think it would, actually. Is it... Will the pickup truck fit in there? Yeah, it should. Not all the way. But what I was going to do is I... Well, we got these carports. What's that do? That's kind of like almost an RV shed idea. This actually has like a little hut with it. That's kind of cool. Can you do anything with it, though? Oh, that's a that's really small though. I mean, that would be like for the pickup alone and nothing else. Looks like it would probably work though. Maybe I don't know. All right, I'll tell you what. This is only going to cost me a thousand bucks, so it's not going to be a big deal later on if I decide to do something different so we're just going to put like this little carport here that's pretty square with the house all right so we're just going to put this in here for now so we have a place to you know park to pick up under undercover the rest of the machinery is going to go out in the shed anyway and later on you know if i decide to do something different then we'll figure that that out at that point This really isn't a terrible solution, actually. Okay. All right, my friends. Excuse me. I think that is going to wrap things up for this episode. This will also most likely, maybe not, but probably most likely, be the last episode that I am going to be able to get out for at least until Christmas. And maybe even we'll see what happens, you know, during the New Year's week or the week between Christmas and New Year's, I should say. So if I don't see you guys again... Before Christmas, I want to wish all of you who celebrate it a very a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great time with your family and your friends. Eat lots of good food, see some good shows. Do something do something good for somebody else if you uh, if you get the opportunity and um, enjoy the Christmas holiday. And I will see you the next time I see you. Take care everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>